I, I, I have to give you a disclaimer. I've cried a lot this weekend. Um, this was not my idea, but I needed this idea. I see what I have here. I put I put at least one black one in there because those are my favorite ones right there. Jelly beans. There are eight jelly beans in here. You know what these eight jelly beans represent? Well, actually, there should be nine because I started the first service with eight, and then somebody else got saved this month, and so now we have nine people saved this month for Jesus. Amen. Since we were talking about our, our anniversary service here, and I'm really excited. I've got my spiritual sons and my natural sons helping me this morning. Amen. Um, I've been watching the last time he helped me with a sermon. He was probably eight or nine, and he sat behind me and made faces at the crowd. Amen. Uh, that's not a, you know, in the grand scheme of things, not a whole lot, right? why we breathe. This is what we believe, a real God who can really change your life, the way you're going to love him by sharing his love with others, and now is the time to do that. And I'm already overwhelmed. Because they helped me see something that it's hard to see through all the struggles. I, called, I actually pulled Pastor Gwen in and said, look, all those financial pressures that you have to deal with, look. For every one of these jelly beans that I've just poured represents somebody saved in January of 2014. But this is not our first month. For 22 years now, we have been a family. I'm honored to say the majority, overwhelming majority, of those who founded this church are still part of this church. And I think that is a tremendous compliment to this church. Would you help me celebrate those families that have been here for 22 years? <laughs> They have a part in everything that's been done here. Those that have come that have labored for every car part, baby's nose wipes, your youth group lock-in, suffered through, come on now, amen, <laughs> has been a part. For you see, this is just this month. We began in 1992, and between 92 and 94, we were trying to find ourselves, and, and so I was very thankful that even though we were trying to find ourselves, we knew who we were after. And his name is Jesus. Amen. And we came with a young man carrying these jelly beans that is one of the jelly beans. He was saved here during that period of time. And he comes bearing the representation of those saved between 93, 92 to 94. 93. And it grew a little bit. And we sat down, a group of us, a calendar, and trying to best figure this out. We started deducting when it got over a certain number because we wanted to be accurate. Because you see, then we really learned about the power of big days. And the next group started finding Christ. This may not touch your heart, but it blesses mine. Say some of those people are a little sticky. <laughs> and that was awesome. You see, why have we spread out? Why do we go further? And these numbers do not include daughter churches or the pastors that we have trained literally now in the hundreds how to win souls. But God increased our numbers. How I many know that he can well stretch out your stent, uh, uh, tent stakes and enlarge your territory? And so then the next millennium began to break. 
Come on down. And here's a young man that was just a baby when he came here and now loves Jesus as a young man about to graduate. And a new millennium was born. But this is still the new millennium. God began to give people a place to call home. God began to send us people from every tribe, different colors. In a community that said we will have only one nationality, God sent us people from all over the world, and they have been saved in this house. Young and old. Holding on for dear life, aren't they? Greg, we had two saved through the station this week. You want to add those to the menu? Or so, David Stein and prayed, for, prayed with him and sent me the text this week. Yeah, they're from Dahlonega. They may be here this morning. So we are thankful. Well, it didn't stop there. We've continued those outreaches, and over the last few years, be gracious, I still remember the first day this guy walked in that many years ago, and that was a good thing. I say that even though his son is about to marry my daughter in a couple of months. Amen. <laughs> and even more was saved. Is this, anybody catching a glimpse of what we're talking about here? Thank you. Locally, this represents 8,589 people locally who have given their life to Jesus Christ. Isn't that exciting? We had one of the generals of the church preach a message here, and he said, those whose light shines the brightest at home shines the furthest. And we cannot forget that in 1995, God broke down our fears and invited us to the world. in that one. I don't know if you're understanding this or not, but these are people that have prayed or either recommitted their life or, de or dedicated for the very first time their lives for the gospel of Jesus Christ in 22 years. Looks a little better now, doesn't it? But I have deceived you. I have deceived you. This is not one, but every jelly bean represents 
four people who have given their life to Christ around this world in 22 years for the gospel of Jesus Christ will be proclaimed. We'll go. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I go to churches where they say nobody's been saved in 10 years. People say, Pastor Don, all you're worried about is souls being saved. Let me settle it for you. You're right. I want to see people come to know Jesus Christ. What about me, Pastor? You start winning people to Jesus and start adding jelly beans and you'll grow too. Amen. Hallelujah. It blew my mind. Pastor Don, how can you be accurate? We wanted to be accurate, so we actually deducted, uh, I, I cannot remember exactly, somewhere between twenty and 30,000 from our numbers so that we would know that we were being respectful to this time. Somebody said, why do you have a bag? Because this service isn't over yet. 